So guys, you know what just happened? I accidentally deleted this video. I'm going to reshoot this again. I don't know if I will be able to tell the same story again, but let's try it. So this is Rupesh, you are watching CVP Nets video series on C++ 17 and this is any. So this can take any data type. So yeah, so this is about data type. So it can store anything with it. And whenever you want, you just tell that, okay, I want this data type, I want this data type. So it will give you that. Let's see with an example here. We have a configuration or setting class. Let's say we have a setting class. I'm going to keep this little small. So let's say in setting you have the setting name. So we have a name here. This is going to be the string data type, right? And you have a font size, which is integer data type. And you have a font, let's say font name or something. This is again a string data type. And for double, we can say, let's say we have a volume or something, then we have a double data type. So can you see this? This is a class which is taking different, different data type, which contains different data types. And it would be very nice if you can just have a map here. Let's say we have a steady map, right? So a steady map, you know, you have to give two data types here. One is for key and another one is for value. So key, you will not be able to keep this any data type in this because it won't let you do that. But in value case, you can do this. So just imagine, let's say you have a string data type as key and value is any data type. So now just think of the possibilities you can have. If you can do something like this, you have a key of string and then you can store any data type on that key as a value. So let's quickly see the program here. So this is your setting manager class. We have the object of that class here. And this is the unordered map which takes string as the key and any is the value. So don't just run away after seeing this class. Okay. There are hidden gems I will tell in the end. So you have to stay till the end. Now I'm just setting theme color, font size and sound value. So you can see that values are of different types, string, integer and float or double. But if you see the setter here, we are just simply using one setter. So how is it possible? I am using a template here for value type because this is a different, different type. Then if I'm not doing this, I'll have to write different, different function just to take different, different data types, which will make the whole class so cumbersome. Now, once I have initialized it, I would try to get it. See, this is the get part here. And it is very important. I am telling the type here. Don't miss this part. I am telling the getter that, okay, this key is storing a value of this type. So see this T is actually passed to get the type cast back. This is very important. I told you I have hidden jams here. So this is one of the jam, not the only jam, but very important. Any cast I am telling. Yeah. So this, it is an iterator and second is always the value, right? So value is stored here. So I did the find on name, whatever I'm receiving here. So this is like very obvious case. The important thing is this guy. The second is actually being typecasted back. Yeah, this is very important. And if you don't do this, it won't work because this is any. So in order to return something from a function, you will have to give the type of that, right? And in that case, this T let's suppose for now is string. But this second is of type any, this is a different type. So it won't be able to convert it on the fly. You have to tell that, okay, I want to convert this into a given type. So this is a string type. Now rest is easy. You can query all these things, but wait a minute. What is this guy? Invalid string. This is to handle, let's say you don't have the given key. You are not able to go inside this. Then in that case, you will return a default value of that type. Meaning if it is integer, you will get zero. If it is string, it is empty string, stuff like that. So this is for that. So I'll quickly run this and don't go after seeing the output. I have not revealed the and jam or an important point. So this is your output. You can see that it is working fine. And let's say if I'm giving you, let's say uh, integer here, sorry. And if I'll compile this and if I'll run this, this time it will give you zero. Yeah, see it is zero. So yeah, after watching this, yeah. So this is the second jam, what I'm going to talk now. What do you think what it is replacing? This is going to replace a void pointer. Yes, you remember? You have the facility to typecast your data type, whatever it may be, to a void pointer. That is a generic pointer you know very well. And then from void pointer, you can get it back. But the problem with the void point is, I mean, void pointer is, it is not a type safe. You can typecast anything to anything and your computer would actually do that. You just have to do void pointer conversion. And it's like, dude, I know what I'm doing. So just do that. 
but in this case it is actually a type safe thingy let me do that let me tell that okay this i am going to take as string let's see how it is going to work in that case if i'll compile it if i'll run this see it is telling you that this bad any cast so it knows that it actually contains something which is not integer so it knows that okay yeah there is something which is not right but if it was a void pointer it would have done it and you would have seen some garbage stuff getting printed here cool right and yeah in my previous video what i mentioned that i did not post it i mean it got accidentally deleted so in that video i did not mention this point or what i have just included here because i teach on the fly i don't make any notes or anything so maybe this important point was missing so i ran out of all the memories and i had to delete all the videos and i accidentally deleted my new recorded video which is this video so with this note guys if you learn something new today don't forget to hit the like button man and if you like the way i teach and all that you can consider subscribing this channel and share it with your friends man thanks for watching bye bye take care